Hey. You oh. gotta turn it on until you say hey. There. I flipped it around. Hey guys. So, Sunday afternoon special. Went and got the rhubarb out of the garden. Ken's been trying to kill the stuff for years and hasn't managed to kill it. So, we're gonna try something. I thought you might get a little kick out of rhubarb barbecue sauce. And that could be fun. So, I have only, so far all I've done is take the rhubarb and I put it in the pan with about two thirds cup of water. We boiled it for six minutes to soften it up and now it's cooling and we're going to puree it in a few seconds. Right now I've got an onion with some oil in the same pan. We're going to saute that up. And... I'm gonna let that go. Do I have it on together right for me? Oh, we hope so. Okay, so this is just rhubarb and water, guys. And we're gonna fry it, puree it up nice and small. Mm, if that's what we think we're gonna do. And hopefully not explode it. So it was one medium onion, chopped up kind of small. You know, that's me. Might be chopped up, might not be. Hard to say. The other ingredients we have, we've got garlic, ketchup, brown sugar, corn syrup, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, and hot sauce. Ken's making all kinds of faces. I think he's excited about it. <laughs> And we are going to use mango hot sauce today, because, meh, why not? Everybody enjoying yesterday's beautiful sunny day, and then today's not so beautiful sunny day. But it makes it perfect for doing your meal planning, doing your meal prep, doing your laundry, right? If you can't be out in the pool, this could be fun, right? All right, next up, we're gonna add that garlic to it. I nearly chopped off my finger yesterday. I'm surprised Ken's letting me touch the knife at all today. So, anybody ever make their barbecue sauce? Anybody ever do this with rhubarb before? The most I ever saw made with it was rhubarb sauce. And after I discovered that it was equal parts rhubarb and sugar, <sighs> decided not to do that anymore. And then rhubarb jam, my grandma used to do that too. This rhubarb I got cut up, I'm gonna make, you know, cake or something later when you're not watching. Need to find something to set that up on, honey. <laughs> oh, he's making some faces now, people. He's not going to make it through the whole thing, I'm pretty sure. Nope, not big enough, honey. Back. Well, I hope you can see me. I can see. Okay. We the crane, you can see nothing. So we got the onions and the garlic. Now, we need to add the rhubarb sauce back in. Oh, I hope I don't burn my fingers. This could be dangerous. So that's all pureed up. Like baby mash. Stir that in. Okay. Cup of ketchup. Yep, ketchup. What, you, you forgot ketchup? I didn't forget it. I'm adding things now. This is how it is when you cook. I got everything all set up and they think I for, forgot it. I don't know. I assume I haven't moved out of the fridge. Ketchup. 
corn syrup. Now the recipe said dark. Guess what? I have dark. Ken makes caramel um, corn puffs at Christmas time. We got light. That's what we got. Ooh, it's starting to smell like barbecue sauce. The dogs have been alerted that we are cooking something, obviously. Brown sugar, mm, two thirds of a cup, packed. Just like real barbecue sauce. Hmm. Don't know that it's super duper healthy stuff. Oh boy, that smells good. All right. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Oops. Yeah. Rule number one. Don't measure over the container, right? Oh well. Hey, yeah, you were still in frame. Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons again. Oh boy. We're measuring over. Probably not my wisest choice, but. Would have been easier if you took the cap off of it. Whatever. It's working just fine. Next up, if I'd have taken the cap off, who knows what would have happened. Ooh, Dijon we're mustard. gonna make him dizzy. <laughs> oh, honey, now you're just experiencing you. Nah. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I'm moving the I'm moving the camera with you. Uh, you don't have to. I'll come right back. Did it? Did it? And more of that flaming flamingo stuff. Mango. Hey, if you guys start ordering a bunch of this, you should let them know that we sent you there. Teaspoon and a half. Woo. Hopefully, only a teaspoon and a half. I think that will be hot enough, don't you think, puppy? I think so. Did I leave any ingredients out? Uh, 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 uh. Got a salt. Of salt. Quarter teaspoon is off. So you know, that's like that. <laughs> this is what cooking like Denise looks like instead of cooking with Ken. <laughs> And now we're crank it back up. Hmm, that made quite a bit. Glad I switched to the bigger pan. It said put it in all in a salt, small saucepan. I don't think so. Hey, I'm going to grab one of the mason jars. That would be a good idea. Well, no kidding. It was my idea. All right. Give them a shot of that because we're just gonna cook this for another five minutes and then we'll have rhubarb salsa that Ken can put on chicken and all kinds of other stuff. Now, if you wanna catch the replay, check us out on YouTube, Making Meals Better. If you wanna get the recipes, you go to nowgetgoing.com and sign up for the recipes. Do you know what we're making presumably this Wednesday, honey? Nope. Guess we're still working on that. We think Wednesday, but hey, if it's great pool weather, keep tabs on us, you just never know. Might be Friday. Could be <laughs> that, Saturday. That chicken I brought and turned out great last week, guys. It was a little runny. We wouldn't use as much. Well, Ken's sticking his tongue on. I thought it tasted great, but it wasn't creamy like I figured our gratin sauce to be. So Leftovers weren't that great. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Don't tell people that. I'm trying to convince them leftovers are a good thing. All right, y'all have a great afternoon. That's where you hit end, honey. Finish?